Hey everybody, welcome to Frugal Facts. Today, we're going to go over the top 10 things you should not spend money on. Make sure to watch until number one, because it's one of the most amazing saving tips I've ever seen. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so we can help you with saving tips regularly. Now, let's get straight into the video. Money doesn't grow on trees. We've all heard that one, but the truth is relative because money is made of paper. Paper comes from trees, right? No matter where the money comes from, it is not easy to make. Some of us have to work three jobs just to make ends meet, and sometimes they still don't. To make certain that your money works for you and that you're not wasting a single dime, it is important to know things that you're not supposed to spend your hard-earned cash on. Here are 10 things you should not spend money on. Number 10. Overdraft fees. You're at the till and confidently hand in your debit card to the cashier. When she swipes it, you hear the ugly decline card beep that almost sounds like it is mocking the poor state of your bank account. A little flustered, you return the cashier's smile with a tight one and say, please try again. The cashier smiles patiently and tries again, only for the ugly beep to sound louder this time. Some consumers behind you give you the stink eye while others give you an empathetic look. You politely apologize to the cashier and walk away in embarrassment. Banks have realized that they can allow people to use their debit cards even when there is no money in their checking accounts, for a small overdraft protection fee of between $30 and $35. According to Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, or CFPB, Americans have incurred $17 billion annually in overdraft and non-sufficient funds, or NSF fees. Paying these fees is unnecessary unless you have an emergency. Just buy an item you know you can afford without going into an overdraft. Number 9. Doggy Poop Bags We all love our dogs. Whether you have a cute, adorable little poodle or a Siberian husky, dogs are our best friends. They take our loneliness away. They're excellent guides and security masters. But like humans, dogs poop too. You may want to do your number two away from prying eyes, but dogs have long mastered the art of pooping in the open. Dog poop is toxic to your grass and also carries parasites that can cause harm to humans and other dogs. You need poop bags to pick up your dog's waste, which costs money. You can find poop bags for $20.35 on Amazon, and if you need them shipped, you'll have to pay extra in shipping fees. You can avoid spending money on poop bags by using old grocery bags. Are you one of those people who throw away used grocery bags? You have now found a new use for them. Master it! Number 8. Tobacco Margaret Chan quotes, Tobacco is the only industry that produces products to make huge profits and at the same time damage the health and kill their customers. We've all seen on websites, TV, even on cigarette packs, the dangers of smoking. But those are not the only negative effects of smoking. It also considerably hurts your wallet. According to a market analysis published by Grandview Research in May 2020, the market size of tobacco globally was valued at $849.09 billion in 2019, and it is expected to grow by 3.1% between 2020 and 2027. For example, the average cost of a cigarette pack is around $6.28. Let's assume you smoke half a pack a day, which is 10 cigarettes. That's $3.14 in a day. $94.2 in a month, and $1,130.4 in a year. In 10 years, you'll have spent a whopping $11,304. Not only have you wasted thousands of dollars, but your health status isn't stellar either. Number 7. Lottery Tickets and Gambling Playing the lottery has been called a poor man's game. Statistics have shown that people of low income groups play the lottery more than their counterparts from the upper class groups. 
This is because low-income earners live paycheck to paycheck and feel that by playing the lottery, they may catch the elusive windfall that will get them out of financial misery. But the truth is, you have a 1 in 292 million chance of winning the lottery. In reality, you have better chances of winning an Oscar at 1 in 11 500,000 or dying in a plane crash at 1 in 1 million. Playing the lottery wastes not only your money, but the time you can utilize to do something productive. Number 6. Credit card interest charges. According to Experian data, credit card debts in America have dropped by 9% and stand at $756 billion down from $829 billion in the year 2019. That is quite commendable considering we're in the middle of a global pandemic. But not all is rosy if you're in the habit of not paying your credit card dues on time. If you fall in that category, you need to rethink that strategy. If your credit card company does not charge you a late fee, as is the case with City Simplicity Card, just pay your credit card debt, even if it is just in principle alone. The good news is that interest is only charged on the money you owe. The bad news is that interest for the money you owe is not calculated annually, it is done daily. Paying the minimum will help you retain your credit score, but it will cost you more in interest. If you have a credit card balance, pay it off as soon as you can to avoid incurring credit card debts. Charge your card an amount you are sure you have in the bank. You can also opt to automate your payments so they can be billed automatically. Or you can set email alerts to notify you of an impending payment. Number 5. Online shipping costs. Why walk when you can fly, right? Well, not always, especially when it comes to money. Shipping costs dampen the will of a customer to shop when they see the final quote. Many online businesses choose to do away with shipping fees because according to Inc.com, 88% of customers admit that they'd be more likely to buy from a store that offers free shipping than one that doesn't. To stop spending your hard-earned cash on shipping, you can opt to use any of the following methods. Ask the seller to ship the item to their store in your locale and you can pick it from there. If it is not a big item and the shop is close to where you live, you can even walk. You save on shipping and gasoline. Meet the minimum requirements for free shipping. For example, say you want an item priced at $30 at Walmart. Shipping that item is $9.25. But the catch is if you buy items worth $35, shipping is free. What would your choice be? I know which one I'd go for. You can save $4.25 by buying a second item worth $5 instead of buying one item and paying $9.25 in shipping costs. Shipping costs can eat into your wallet and unless you have no other option, paying a shipping fee is unnecessary. Number 4. Co-signing a loan. Check this out. Jake is a good friend of yours. You work together. He's your spotting partner at the gym. You even go hiking or surfing together. Jake becomes hard pressed for cash and he needs a loan to pay a mortgage or a car or even a kayak. He does not have a good credit score and is having trouble getting approved for loans. Jake, your good friend, comes to you, someone he trusts to have a good credit score and asks you to co-sign a loan. And you agree because Jake is your best buddy, right? Because of you, Jake has now been approved for a loan. He's grateful and promises to make prompt payments. Are you happy that you've helped a friend? Absolutely. But what you've done is not just help a friend in need. By co-signing the loan, you've committed yourself to be solely responsible to pay the full amount in case of a default. Unfortunately, not all friends or family make good in their promise and you get stuck repaying a loan that has nothing to do with your personal growth. You get a double loss because it also ruins your relationship with a borrower. Number 3. In-app purchases. If you're an avid mobile games player, raise your hand. Keep your hand raised if at one time you've been impatient to wait for the lives to fill up so you can continue playing. What did you do? You purchased more lives, didn't you? You probably spent more than you had initially decided to. Buying 20 lives instead of 10 so you could play for longer. 
or maybe you bought gold bars or boosters to accelerate your game. The purpose of playing games is to have fun and pass time. Sure, the game are frustrating sometimes, but why would you want to spend $10 to get more gold bars? Why not find another free game on your phone and pass time with it while you wait for the lives in the previous game to fill up? Games that don't have any return on investment are just not worth spending money on. But that's just my take. What's your take on that? Number 2. Premium Gym Membership Did you make a New Year's resolution to flatten the bump around your waistline or get ripped? Most people sign up for gym memberships with so much morale. You're pumped to wake up earlier than usual to shed those pounds. For a few weeks, your dedication and commitment are admirable, but as time goes by, your motivation starts to fade and before long you've stopped going altogether. The majority of gym memberships are annual, usually costing around $800, some even more depending on the state. You get stuck paying for a service that you're not using. That's money wasted. Some gyms will allow you to leave, but you have to pay a leaving penalty. Instead of getting a gym membership, try home workouts. They are as effective and will cost you nothing. Just a good sweat, which is a good thing, right? Number 1. Airport Purchases If you are naturally impatient, you will want to punch everyone at the airport. Many things progress at a very slow pace. Instead of getting frustrated, there are kiosks, shops, supermarkets, and duty-free shops that you can window shop in to help you pass time. But don't buy anything at the airport because more often than not, you'll find yourself cuffing up twice the amount you would at local stores. For example, according to The Hustle, earplugs on the street cost $4.99 while the airport sells them at $8.99. That's almost double the street price. It seems like a waste of money to buy at double the price when you can get them at a cheaper price, don't you think? So there you have it. What are some of the tips mentioned in this video have you used? Go ahead and tell us. We promise we won't judge you. We'd love to hear your opinions and suggestions about this video. What are some of your pet peeves when it comes to spending? Please leave a comment below and let us know. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of saving tips and much more. Check out this playlist of my top 10 videos of saving money tips and I'll see you in the next video. Take care!